was a curator at a small museum in South Africa, a place called Port Elizabeth, and on Christmas Eve 1939, uh, the sea captain, who she had a good relationship with, said that they'd caught a fish that no one had ever seen before, which was really weird because people have been fishing off the coast of South Africa since the 1700s, so it got sent to a, uh, an eminent ichthyologist in, in South Africa, and he was couldn't believe it, it was the discovery of the century. This, here was an animal that we thought was extinct for 65, 70 million years, and yet here it was swimming around off the coast of South Africa. So it was a sensation, but of course the question was, where the hell does it live? Because no one's ever seen it off the coast of South Africa before, so it must be what's called a waif. So it's carried, it's just carried in currents down. A young man was on a sailing adventure in the Indian Ocean. He took these flyers with him. This was in the early 50s. He came to the Comorian Archipelago, which is that little volcanic archipelago just off the northeast of Madagascar. Showed people the flyer. Have you seen this fish? And they said, yeah, we see it. You know, it's kind of rare. We, we catch them occasionally. They taste horrible. This was the home of the coelacanth. It's, it's just off these volcanic Comorian islands. But it um, turns out there's another species of coelacanth alive, and that lives off Sulawesi, and it's an Indonesian coelacanth. So now we know there are two living species of coelacanth, which is really pretty incredible.